Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Wow, that's so weird to say na my channel na talaga ako. It's no longer just Instagram or Facebook. It's actually YouTube now. So, oh my gosh, medyo weird. Okay, so for today's video, I did a quick makeup look. So this is like uh, a makeup look that I would usually wear whenever there's an emergency meeting or may biglaan akong lakad with friends. Uh, and yung wala ako, yung essentially these are, this is the kind of makeup look that I would do and use whatever items that I have in my immediate vicinity. So, hindi naman kasi lagi na dala, -dala ko yung uh, 5 out of 10 eyeshadows ko. So, ito yung type of makeup look that I would do uh, if I had very little time to prepare and I had very little resources. Okay, so if you guys want to see me create this look, then just keep watching. So we'll start off with our face primer. So even though mabilis ang look lang to, kailangan naka-prime pa yung skin natin to ensure the long longevity of the makeup okay so we'll be using the maybelline baby skin pore eraser this one right here so we'll be using it all over the face to prime our skin so we'll just apply it here here and in the forehead and in the chin okay syempre dapat pabilis ang kilos natin dito kasi baka biglang dumating yung meeting natin so Kailangan huwag masyadong maglinger, pero make sure pa rin na nakablend yung primer natin sa skin. Next step is concealer. So, hindi tayo magpa-foundation kasi mabilisan nga lang na makeup look. And foundation sometimes takes a while to blend in. Lalo na kung i-blend in mo talaga siya and to make sure na walang separation from your neck and your chin. Okay? So, we'll be using concealer na lang. So, we'll be using the Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage Under Eye Concealer. So, this one right here. Okay. So, we'll be using it under the eyes. Iko-cover up lang natin yung mga any blemishes na meron tayo sa skin. Okay? So, we open it. Apply it under the eyes. Okay, so, dyan lang. Just a little bit. Then, sa nose. So, if you watched yung video ko, there's this trick that I do wherein I also apply concealer sa nose ko then sa forehead. Then, ngayon medyo ipofocus ko siya sa may nose area and sa may kilay area ko kasi tinatagyawat ako ngayon. Okay, and then, a bit more on the chin. Now, we're going to blend it out. So, ito yung trick siguro na natutunan ko na kailangan mabilis ka mag-blend. Kasi baka biglang habang nagbe-blend ka, biglang sabihin ng mga kasama, uy, andyan na yung kangiting mo sa labas, naantay ka. Like, oh no! Hindi naman pwedeng ganito lang. Hindi pwedeng humarap ka na nakaganyan. So, kailangan. Cute ka pa rin. Diba? Kahit paano. Okay. I'm just gonna blend that all over. So, yan. So, at least, uh, hindi mukhang puyat at hindi rin kita masyado yung mga da hindi dapat makita ng mga tao. Okay? So, while you're at it, kalat mo na rin kahit paano. Okay. So, you're done with that. And now, we move forward with the kilay. So, sa kilay kasi, minsan yun yung matagal gawin kasi kailangan precise ka, kailangan mabilisan talaga yung gawa mo. Pero, I found this item. Uh, it's the Maybelline Tattoo Brow Ink Pen. So, it's this one right here. Ayan. So, I discovered this item kasi interesting yung itsura niya. So, it's an ink. It's an ink. Tapos, ganito yung tip niya. So, para siyang brush tip ang dating. So, parang draw on mo na lang siya. So, this could be a really good tool. So, let's try it out. Okay. Ayan. So, parang igaganyan mo lang siya. So, you don't need to be 
super precise about this. Parang you're just going to add a bit of depth and dimension sa kilay mo. So, mukha siyang natural brow pa rin. It's nothing uh, severe or extreme. Nakukuha pa rin yung shape ng kilay. Pero you don't really have the... You don't really have to be super precise about it. Ang medyo delikado lang dito is because it's an ink. Pag nagkamali ka, medyo mas mahirap siyang ayusin than, let's say, a pencil or a powder. Okay, so we'll do the other eyebrow. Kapag ginagawa mo yan, make sure na pantay pa rin yung kilay natin kasi baka mamaya harap mo yung kamiting mo, yung isang kilay mo, nakataas mo, ang masungit agad. Sipin niya. May attitude ka agad. Yun pala, mali lang pagkakakilay mo sa sarili mo, di ba? Okay. So, yan. So, very natural yung itsura niya. So, not necessarily something severe. And ink siya. So, mukha pa rin siyang natural. So, for this one, the, one of the tricks that I've discovered while uh, in this kind of situation is you need to find an all-purpose item. Kung usually, uh, you have a separate item for eyeshadow, you have a separate item for, bra for blush, and you have a separate item for lips, you have to be able to adjust and make and essentially use the same item on all three parts. So now I'll be using the Revlon Kiss Cloud Blotted Lip Color. So it's this one right here. And it's in the shade Berry Soft. So I'm going to be using this as a bit of an eyeshadow, blush, and of course lip. Okay. So what I do is uh, I'll just put it dito sa my ko. Yan. So, parang hindi mo siya ilalagay diretso kasi mas mahirap siyang i-blend since it's really pure pigment. So, you have to be able to blend it in. Okay? So, start muna tayo sa mata. So, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be super uh, precise since ikakalat lang natin siya sa lid. Just to add a bit of color there. Pero, sobrang mabilis lang siya gawin. So, I really like this item. Sobrang easy niyang gamitin. So, what I like about this product is, hindi siya mahirap i-blend in. So, if you can see, I was able to do it in like 1 minute, 2 minute stops. Kasi, what I've discovered with other uh, cream products is, Nakakatakot siyang gamitin minsan kasi it dries up super fast. So, bago mo pa siya mabablend, tuyo na siya. So, sometimes you're left with like a splotch of, let's say, cheek tint or lip tint in your cheeks. Na parang, okay, gagawin ko rito. Kailangan mo nalang takpan ng ibang produkto, di ba? Okay, so now, we're done with the eyes. I'm gonna add a little bit more. Just a little bit. And we're gonna use it as a blush. Okay, so ganyan lang gagawin natin. Ganyan lang. And then, smile. Then, blend it out in the apples of your cheeks. Then, kalat mo ng konti. Para na siyang contour, sort of. It's like a really light blush. So, very light. So, pwede mo namang dagdagan ng konti kung gusto mo. So, ako medyo nakukulangan ako. Uh, dadagdagan natin ng super konti pa. Then, ganito ulit. Then, smile. So, yeah. 
May blush na tayo agad, di ba? So, sa lips, uh, pwede natin siyang i-apply. Abilisan lang naman. So, ngayon, we're gonna use it as a lipstick talaga. Ayan. So, may lipstick ka na. So, I really like products like this. So, so far, ito si Revlon Kiss Cloud yung favorite ko. But I also discovered this new item. Si Bobay Hinani uh, Eye Streak and Lip Stint. So, ito yung isa sa mga shades niya. So, I think this is the one called Mauve. So, this is a really nice product din. Medyo pinaglalaroan ko pa siya kasi I just bought it last Sunday. So, paglalaroan ko pa siya and then I'll let you guys know what I think about this product. Uh, I'll... They also have like three shades. So they have mauve, they have in between, and then they have C rose. So this is more the pinky shade. So I let you guys know what I think of these products. And so far, upon swatching them, okay naman siya. But then I don't know how to make it look good in my skin yet. So hindi pa rin kasi magaling masyado sa cream sa pinag-aaralan ko pa siya. Um, once I try it out, I let you guys know. So ngayon, uh, done na tayo with the cream products. So time to make sure na hindi ka mag-melt off in the middle of the day. Using my uh, MAC Studio Fix Powder Foundation. So uh, medyo deceiving yung lalagyan because I was able to get the powder foundation, yung refill. And then I was able to get a different, a different case. So this for the light full. Pero it's, uh, what I'm using is the Studio Fix. So we're gonna be using it. Uh, to set everything and at the same time to add a bit more coverage kasi since powder foundation siya, mas mag-add siya ng coverage sa skin. So, may concealer ka na, may tas mag-even out pa siya with the powder. Okay? So, you can use the puff that it comes with that comes with it or you can use a powder brush. So, ngayon, medyo maging extra ako and I'm going to use this powder brush that's almost as furry as my cat. Okay? So, tap wala siya dito. Tap off the excess and then go to town. Yan. So, dali mo na rin siya sa neck mo para pantay pa rin yun kulay ng face at ng neck mo. So, make sure it's blended. And, yan. Diba? Mukha pa rin akong nag-liquid foundation kahit na it's just concealer and a powder foundation. So, we're done with this step. Now, we're going to move on to eyeliner. So, eyeliner is optional pero since I'm the type of person who can't live without eyeliner, I have to put on eyeliner. So, uh, I'm going to be using this Hello Kitty eyeliner that I mentioned in my last video. So, I got this from Daiso a few months ago. And I've been loving it ever since. Kasi, madali siya gamitin. As I mentioned in the first video, madali siya gamitin and it's long-lasting. Okay, so let's put a quick uh, line to this eye. So, automatic may impact agad siya, di ba? So, we're going to do the other eye now. Ayan. So, may winged eyeliner ka na, di ba? So, mo... Your look is coming together really nicely. Now, we're gonna do mascara. So, this one, I would consider as the last step. But now, I'm using the BLK Cosmetics uh, Volume Plus Lash Extension Mascara. So, it's this one right here. Okay. So, and I'm going to be using the black one because I think they have a brown one as well. But I still prefer black mascaras. 
So, nagmamascara pa rin ako ng walang lash curling. Kasi, hindi ko pa nakukuha yung lash curler ko sa office. So, tease-tease muna tayo with just mascara and with lashes that shoot down. It never gets curled. Okay. And so we're done with one eye. We're gonna do the other one. So next is setting spray. So we're going to be using uh, the Innisfree No Sebum. Sebum. Hindi ko parang alam kung paano siya pronounce. No Sebum setting spray. So it's this one right here. And we're gonna use it to set the face. Okay. So yung sprayer nito, kasi sobrang continuous siya. Uh, you don't have to spray it like continuously. So parang press it and it just goes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you just let it dry out for a bit. And this look is complete. So there you have it guys. This is my quick, very quick makeup look. Well, quick by my standards again because I usually take an hour or two to do my own makeup. And I used a total of around 7 products or 8 products because a couple of it is optional. Naman. So it's just me being a bit extra even though I have a few minutes to, to get ready. So this is the kind of look that I would do if I have a meeting with a client or if I have a meeting pala ako sa labas. Or if I'm meeting up, I'm meeting up with my friends uh, for dinner, for drinks, or whatever. So, para lang mukha akong maayos, mukha akong presentable. Even though a few minutes ago, I looked like I just woke up and put on the, the quickest clothes that I could. Okay? So, that completes this video. Uh, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Um, and feel free to comment down below kung ano pa yung mga videos na gusto nyong makita from me. And I'll do my best to recreate them. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!